Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to take a look at the 12 South Book Book Case for the iPhone 4. This sells for $59.99, and it works with both the CDMA as well as the GSM version of the iPhone 4. The 12 South Book Book Case was a popular design for both the MacBook Pro as well as the iPad. If you've seen this case before, you know it looks like an antique book. It's amazing for the iPhone. There's a lot of things that I don't like about it, but there are way more than I do like about it. I've been using this case for the last two days nonstop, and I absolutely adore it. And let me show you why. So let me crack open the packaging first so I can show you the case up close. You don't get anything in here other than the case itself. So let me move that packaging out of the way. It's also like a dummy iPhone in here that I'll need to remove as well. So. From the outset, I can show you that the case does look like a book. It looks like a small antique book. It's distressed leather, it smells awesome. You can see along the spine, it has like these two little uh, leaf type designs and it says book, book there in the spine as well. And then it's got a Roman numeral for 12 there. And then of course on the back, it has 12 embossed as well for 12 South. Kind of like a two-tone look where it's kind of more distressed along the spine and then less distressed hair. But of course, over time, the cover front and back will get even more distressed. You can see it's already ticking on scratches and whatnot and scuffs, but that just adds to the overall character of it. It feels awesome. It's obviously gen genuine leather, which feels really good in the hand. So when you open it up, and peel this little thank you sticker off out of the way. You can see that not only is this a case for the iPhone 4, but it's also a wallet as well. So basically what I did was I looked at my wallet and decided, you know, everything that I absolutely had to have with me, took those items and tried to fit them into the book bookcase, and I was able to do so. Spent all day in New York uh, on Saturday with just this, without my wallet, and it worked great. So you can see on the side here, there's one ID slot and then two spots for credit cards and then another pocket here. So this is how I set it up. I need my insurance card. I put that in here. That fits in just fine. I also obviously need my driver's license. I decided to put that on top here so it's kind of shining through just like an ID pouch. And then I need one credit card and that fits into one of the slots. And then I need my ATM card, and that fits into the other slot. So everything fits in fine just like that. Those are the essential plastic items that I need. And then the remaining thing, remaining, uh, thing that I put in there is cash. So when I first got the wallet, I folded my cash up like this. Now you can do it that way and slide it in, but I felt like it was a little thick and it kind of protruded a little like that. And this is probably my first complaint about the wallet. It just sticks out too far. For whatever reason, I found that if I folded it like so, it fit in better for me. And I got it like so. And I was actually to, able to fit about, I don't know, seven or eight bills in here comfortably. For whatever reason, that fits in better. And it's actually able to close just a little bit uh, neater when I fold it like that. So that's how I place my bills. So I'm not thrilled with the bill placement. I wish this was a little bit wider so the bills were completely hidden under here. I don't like that you can see them sticking out. And again, they kind of protrude onto the flap just a little bit. And you can see when you fold it, they get kind of pushed over. Not a major complaint, but again, it's just something I would like to see maybe just a little bit wider. You could of course fold these up even smaller, but then it's just gonna create even more thickness. So once you have that all set, it's obviously time to put the iPhone for it. It has this little tab right here that looks like a bookmark and this is actually magnetic and that's what keeps the uh, iPhone in place. So you flip it out of the way, take your iPhone 4. Before I put that in I'll let you know I have a screenshot on the front and the back and because some of the portion of the antenna band is exposed when you put this in, I actually put some clear side pieces along the sides of my iPhone 4 as well. Can't see them, but they are there. And then simply slide the iPhone all the way down into the little sleeve there and take this little bookmark looking thing and tuck it behind the iPhone. And now it's locked in place. You can't push it up until you remove that flap out of the way. It won't come out. So let me just show you the thickness of it. 
it's a little on the thick side, obviously. Um, in your pocket, you definitely know it's there, but I kept telling myself all the while that I was carrying it, this is now replacing essentially two items. I went from carrying my iPhone in a case on one pocket and my wallet in my other pocket to one item in one pocket and that's it. So I'm definitely enjoying that aspect of it. So a couple of other things about the sleeve itself. You can see that it covers a little bit of the bottom and a little bit of the top. However, like I mentioned, the top corners of your iPhone are kind of left exposed and that's why I put that clear cover over my antenna band. However, your sleep awake button fully accessible as well as the headset and the secondary mic. On the side there, you can still get to the vibrate switch, has a nice cutout for both versions of the iPhone. The volume buttons get covered with the leather and then have these leather additional buttons kind of put on top there. Still give you nice feedback when you press it. This is thin enough that you don't really notice any issues. And then on the bottom, you can see what is kind of like three cutouts, one for the speaker, one for the mic, and one for the 30 pin connector. You can of course charge with your iPhone while it's in here as well as sync. You can't however dock. So at night when I dock my phone, I've been taking this out, placing it into the dock and you know using it that way. So a couple other things that I'm not really digging about it. Let's get those out of the way first. The first is there's no cutout for the camera. If you're a huge camera user, you might not you know, be thrilled with that. You do basically have to pop this up and then slide the camera out to take a picture. Now, you think this would work okay, but of course this gets in the way of your picture. So what I found myself doing while I was using this is to pull this all the way out, take a picture, and then put it back in. Not really a huge concern, but if you're a major, major, you know, iPhone photographer, it may bother you. The only other issue that I have is when it comes to typing. And um, I actually think that it's a good one more than it's a bad one. So if I go in here and uh, I go to type an email, you can see that the flap gets in the way. And I had a hard time kind of using my thumbs to type because this flap was constantly getting in the way. Well. I always have heard how much easier it is to type in a landscape mode, and basically this case forces me to type in landscape mode, which makes things that much easier. So while I think it's a problem to type this way, I think the fact that it actually forces you to go into landscape mode is a blessing in disguise. I'm an awful iPhone typist, and in landscape mode I'm much better. So I find myself when I go to type, flipping it around typing in a landscape and I do a, a much more accurate and much more able to type you know, proficiently in that orientation. So again, blessing in disguise. Um, really everything else about it shines. Um, like I said, those are minor you know, annoyances on the overall grand scheme of things. I'm loving this case, guys. Um, I could see using this on a permanent basis. You know, uh, the one thing I always have when I leave my house is my phone. Um, sometimes I maybe forget my wallet, um, maybe I don't think I need it for whatever reason, but this combination ensures that I will always have my wallet and my phone with me at all times. Um, you know, sometimes maybe I leave the, the, my phone at home and I only bring my wallet where I might have needed my phone. Again, this ensures I always have both of these essential items, probably the two most essential items as far as what I carry on a daily basis with me at all times. And again, the book bookcase just oozes quality. The leather is absolutely perfect. Again, it's got that antique look, yet it feels and smells great and it looks awesome. I just love the setup, guys. Again, um, you know, you're gonna have a little bit of thickness when it comes to the overall you know, girth of the case, but you know, you have to keep remembering that everything that's packed in here. I, I venture to say you could probably fit even more stuff in here. You could probably fit two credit cards each in these slots. I only have one in each one, but you could probably fit two, no problem. You can see the back of the inside case or inside of the case is lined with this microfiber material and uh, really soft, feels great in the hand. Um, again, I love everything about this case. The three or four minor annoyances that I pointed out don't really take away from the, you know, the, the overall design and I'm kind of willing to work through those issues because of, of the overall functionality of the case. So that's just a quote unquote quick, one of my longer reviews, look at the 12 South book book case. 
I think I'm going to keep rocking this for a while. Um, one thing, I, other thing I have to say about it is, I always enjoy using my iPhone naked, you know, without a case. So the times where I do pull it out at night when I go to charge it, or when I go to take a photo, or whenever I want for that matter, it's very easy just to pop it out and use it naked, and then throw this wherever I want. And then when I'm, you know, going to go somewhere, or I'm going to you know, do something shorter, not take it out and put it back in and leave it in there. It's just really versatile, guys. Again, it goes from like a wallet to a case to using your naked iPhone back to a wallet, back to a case really easily and really proficiently. So check out the book bookcase via the 12 South website. I'll put a link in the video description where you can learn more about it. If you have any questions about this case or anything else, you know you can always drop me a line. Otherwise, you have a great day. <laughs>